Good day y'all. You're probably wondering what is inside this box. I am super excited to finally get this in the mail so I can install it on my car. Uh, if you don't know, this is the Auto Comma Heavy Duty 260 pound uh, rated roof rack that I'll be installing on my Toyota Highlander. Um, I am an old fashioned chrome guy and so I got this in chrome. Uh, they do have this in black for those um, Chrome Delete f uh, folks. So whatever floats your boat. This I specifically got because of um, personal recommendations by other Toyota Highlander um, owners who have purchased this and installed them on their vehicles. A um, few things to note that why I chose this. Number one, usually when I install aftermarket products, uh, I'm sorry, when I install uh, accessories on my car. I usually lean towards the OEM factory. Uh, however, uh, the OEM factory roof rack is only rated at 160 pounds and this right here is rated higher at 260 pounds. So I decided to go with this so that way in the future when I do buy a uh, Thule um, box, I'm going to put that on top of the car for those uh, road trips when we start uh, doing that in the summertime with my family. So this is Chrome. This is going to fit 2020 through 2022 Toyota Highlanders. Um, this specifically won't fit, um, I believe, the L and LE models. Uh, so look on the um, product link. I'll put it in the description. Um, this roof rack uh, fits uh, Limited and uh, Platinum. And there's a few other uh, trims that it fits as well. So just uh, do your research. Make sure that this... Um, this will fit your car um, based on the trim level. Uh, so what does it look like? Kind of show you here, do a little bit of unboxing. We got the two roof pieces. It's conveniently labeled if you can see it. Um, you can tell, okay, which one's the rear? Which way does it face? This is forward facing, this right here. I don't know if you can see it right there, forward. So this is the front bar uh, over here. It'll tell you, is this the right hand rear or is this the left hand front? Um, but basically, if you look at this, th this will tell you everything you need um, in regards to uh, which direction um, the bars will be facing. Uh, taking this out, it's going to show all the materials needed to install it, each box is reserved for each part of the vehicle. So here's the right hand front, right hand rear, left hand front. The cool thing about this is it also has a key so that way when you do install it uh, you can actually insert a key and lock it so that way it makes it more difficult to steal. So that's another reason why I got this uh, over the OEM uh, roof rack. All right, so this is uh, everything you get inside of the box. You'll get the two uh, roof rails right here, and you'll have uh, four mounting pieces, again, conveniently marked, so you know which um, mounting point to put onto um, the, the actual roof rack itself. Just match them up, right? RHR, RHF, and same thing on this side right here. Uh, this is what um, you get, uh, directions and all the parts that come with it. Again, this is for 2020 and 2022 um, Toyota Highlanders. Uh, make sure that um, you check the trim level because the lower model trim levels, um, this may not be compatible with. This for sure will fit uh, limited and uh, platinum trims. I have a platinum, so this would work fine for me. Uh, what you get is two crossbars that you see, uh, four mounting bases, and you'll get the uh, lockable end cap covers. Uh, I'll show you that in a second. Um, you'll get the rubber sealing gasket. Uh, I'm not sure if OEM has that or not, but that is definitely something that uh, was appealing to me because uh, I do not want to scrape uh, the chrome uh, on top of my car while installing this. And uh, you'll also get the sockets. All the tools that you get is right here. Everything you need to actually install this into onto the car is there for you. Uh, so I'm excited about this. And these are the parts that you get right here. Just want to show you the build quality here. Let's see. On the inside, you got metal. 
right? And then the outside, the top part right here, is the chrome part. So this is the key, and each of them, each mounting point has a key for you to lock and unlock. Again, this is to help with, uh, to prevent theft, um, which is one of the other advantages uh, of getting this. But getting this, this is one whole piece, looks really glossy and shiny. Again, I am an old school chrome guy. Um, again, I got friends that are um, auto, uh, I'm sorry, uh, uh, chrome delete peeps, and I like that look too, but um, I love this look. So we'll see how this looks uh, once uh, everything's installed. All right, so I got my little station set up right here, right next to my Highlander, so that way it's not too far away. And so here's uh, what we're gonna f uh, first do. Uh, to make things easier, uh, I went ahead and I put on all the washers onto um, the bolts first. And then for these black bolts in here, uh, these come with two washers. Uh, it's important that when you uh, are putting these two washers together, uh, in the instructions, uh, they say that there is a radial side, if you can see it. And then the other side, I believe is what they call, um, let me see what they call it here. The wedge cam side. So you wanna make sure that the wedge cams are touching each other, they're facing each other. And so that the radial side is the one facing away when you thread these bolts right here. And so you're gonna have four of these, okay? So let's go ahead and get this started. Now you're gonna use the, the keys supplied it here. And basically what you're going to do is it's in the lock position right now. Again, this is an anti-theft measure. You want to unlock it to remove the chrome piece off. So you just insert the key. Turn. Once you got that unlocked, then you can use the supplied pry tool, and then you'll just uh, bend this out a little bit until you hear that click. There we go. And be careful here not to break this chrome part right here, but once that's out, you slide it out. Slide it right out, just like that. And then the chrome piece, you're gonna be putting back onto um, the, real, the roof rack at the end, okay? So set this aside. You'll notice that this piece is left hand front. Left hand front is the driver's side front of, my, of the vehicle. So what you'll do is you'll go to the corresponding uh, front roof rack right here, and then you just match it up. So as you'll see, I'm gonna put this on, just like that. And then you'll take the, um, the rubber the rubber piece here and then you just put this on as well everything is coated for you here all right push that in push that in push that in and once you do that you'll take two of these little bolts right here and then you'll just install it right over here so can you pan down right here show you here. there we go we'll install it right here now, when you do this part right here, um, you don't have to make it too tight just yet because what we're going to do is we're also going to do a test fit once we put it on because this has some adjustment where you can slide this part in and out to make sure that you get a really, really perfect snug fit onto the, um, the top of the vehicle. Then you use the supplied uh, hex wrench and just crank it all the way. Again, don't do this part too tight. Just want to do it so that way it's snug in there for now. All right, so this is what it looks like with the four mounts installed onto the um, roof rack. I flipped them over just to uh, give you an idea what they look like before the uh, chrome plastic pieces are, are put back on. Uh, next up here is uh, we'll have to remove the caps that's on top of uh, the Highlander here. So you can see there's going to be four points right here. One right here. And then there's one at the end right there. So basically use a pry tool to pop this out. And 
don't be like me and drop it on the floor and, and scrape it up. Luckily, it's okay. Put that away. And basically, uh, what you'll get is an exposure to that access hole right there. And that's where the bolt's going to go. Uh, basically, repeat this process four times. One, two, three, and four. And once you remove that, then we can go ahead and put on the, uh, the roof racks. All right, so all that's left to do is to actually install the roof racks onto the car. So you, um, the remaining um, bolts you have remaining are going to go right into this hole right here. Let's go ahead and mount this onto the top and get these installed. Alright, so directions call to uh, torque down the, uh, the four black bolts down to uh, 15 nm newton meters. So that translates to about 11 uh, foot pounds of torque. So just use your torque wrench and just crank it until you hear the click. Hear that? That means it's torqued down. Just do this on all other uh, four sides. Alright, down the home stretch y'all, uh, this is what it looks like with the front and rear uh, roof racks installed. Uh, last thing we have to do is put back on the chrome uh, mount covers and uh, lock it again. So just take one of these, make sure that it is in the unlocked position and just slip it right over the top. Like so. Just snug in like that, lock it, snap, lock, pull it out, and that's what you got, that's what it looks like. Here's another angle of uh, the cross rails right here. Really love how it looks chrome, shiny. And I also like how Toyota uh, made the mounting points specifically here, uh, especially on the platinum trim. Uh, for those that uh, have a platinum trim like I do, uh, you'll know that we have the um, standard uh, plat uh, sorry, panoramic roof that comes in two window panes, right? And so it's cool that the, the cross rails, they actually align with um, the middle in regards to where the, the two uh, uh, window panes split. So we'll kind of give you a look from down here. This right here is what I'm talking about. This piece right here, this back portion of the, the window doesn't move, it's static. And this part in the front is the one that can raise up and also can be retracted backwards. And so if you're um, concerned about like clearance issues with uh, it um, impacting uh, the, uh, the crossbars, uh, I can tell you no. 
uh, to kind of give you a quick demo on what that looks like here. There you have it, the Autec Coma yes. Chrome mm -hmm. Roof Racks. Again, I'm old school and I love Chrome, but I know that for my um, Chrome Delete uh, folks out there, they also make an all black version as well. I'm digging it. Woo, looking sexy. All right, so my final thoughts on these um, roof, roof rack. It is definitely a buy. Um, anyone curious about uh, wind noise? Uh, I drove um, the Highlander going at 35 miles an hour and 60 miles an hour on the highway and with the windows up and the sunroof closed I could barely notice it actually I can't even hear it um, I will mention though that if you do crack the moonroof open when you're going 35 miles an hour you can hear a faint wind noise but it, nothing um, too loud uh, especially I have a hybrid so everything's pretty quiet when I'm going um, 25 30 miles an hour anyways uh, but when you are driving at 60 miles per hour or higher and uh, you have the moonroof open, uh, you can definitely hear it. Uh, so those are my impressions in uh, regards to wind noise. Uh, again, my plans is to um, buy a Thule uh, storage box so that way I can uh, go on some camping trips with my family and road trips. Uh, one thing to note. Uh, even though these bars, the bars itself is rated at 260 pounds, uh, remember that the um, dynamic weight capacity, as stated by, Hon uh, by um, Toyota, is 165 pounds. Uh, that's basically the, the weight um, that you can have on top of the roof while the car is in motion. So even though the... Um, the rails are rated higher. Um, it's best to try to keep your load not too heavy and not to um, surpass uh, 165 pounds, especially if you um, don't want to get into uh, legal liability issues if uh, for whatever reason you overpack it uh, and then, um, you know, say a cargo box flies off the top of your roof and it hits somebody behind you, right? Um, so what would uh, be the benefits of having a higher rated uh, crossbar? Well, my, my thinking is uh, when I look at the Thule website, it also states, let's say, for example, you want to put a, um, a roof-mounted tent on top. Well, the crossbars, because they're stronger, if you end up having like one or two adults um, sleeping on top of, uh, you know, a, a tent on top of your roof, then that would actually help prevent the uh, crossbars from bending or bowing. Uh, so that's uh, something to, um, to, to keep in mind. So if you're looking to put on a, a roof-mounted tent, then that would be something that would be beneficial with these uh, thicker and stronger um, crossbars. Um, uh, I was reading again on the Thule website, it says that the static weight, the static weight is on average about three times that of the dynamic weight capacity. And so that's good to, uh, um, you know, information to know. Uh, so again, make sure you do your due diligence. I got these because not only uh, was it far cheaper than the OEM, but it looks more stylish. Um, I'm not, I don't know how to explain it. This portion right here, it just looks more, um, more angled. It has more curvature to it. Whereas the OEM looks more like a, a, a box. And so um, it might look like the cross rails sit a little bit higher. Uh, that's why I wanted to show you uh, what it looks like with the uh, moon roof fully retracted so that way you can tell if it has enough clearance or not. Anyhow, like and subscribe. 
and I can come here to create more videos. And thanks for watching. Peace.